what was the first time you saw Bobby? Because I guess it was, was it coaching or was it? No, you, what happened was I had made a comeback. I'm not, not to go into that again, but I, I, I made a comeback. And we were, play, we were playing the Boston Braves that night in the Boston Gardens. And the Bruins were having a, a, a skate. They were flying at 4 o'clock. They were flying to uh, L.A., so we all come down, you know, we want, and, and, and I remember, now I, you have to realize that I had been to, I had played against all the stars. I would played against uh, Gordy. I played, I played them all. I played exhibition games against them. Yeah, and you've been to almost all their training camps. Yeah, I've been to all their training camps, except Chicago, I think. It was the only one I was at. <laughs> it sounds bad, but I was, and I played against the exhibition game. So I, I knew what, you know, I, uh, great teams and great guys and everything. And I couldn't believe the first time I saw Orr. He didn't skate. He seemed to float on, the, on the, and he was only fooling around. And um, I remember Tom Johnson was a coach. And he said, what's around? And they, went, and they went around the circle. And they were undisciplined, eh? And uh, they should have won more Stanley Cups with that team. That, that was, I mean... Yeah, that's what Bobby said in the interview. He yeah. Said they should have been more disciplined. Yeah. So anyhow, the very first time I met us, so we went down, and as a team, we took the bus, and, and I walked out, and the very first time I saw Bobby, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I mean, I, I was, I, I was like a, I was like a trainer that saw the best horse, and I, I, I just couldn't believe it when I watched him out there. He didn't seem to skate. He was like coffee, eh? If you watch coffee in those older things. He, 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 how much better he was skater. He, only he went to the outside, and unfortunately for Bobby, and he lasted till he was 30-some years old, but Bobby used to go to the inside. Yeah, you, I remember, you, you got me an autograph. Uh, what, who played for us was Rob Walton, and, uh, he, and Mike was playing for the Boston Bruins. So brother, I went to That Rob, was his brother, Mike Walton, right? Yeah, Mike Walton. And I went down to the, I went down to the pro shop, and I got a big picture of Bobby, and I asked Rob if he'd ask Mike if he'd ask Bob. <laughs> Not awful, <laughs> like I was like a teenager, and and I said, could he put on uh, keep lifting the weights? You were lifting weights back then. By the way, I still have your, I still have your bench. Oh yeah, yeah, I still got. It. But anyhow, uh, so he did it and he signed it, and 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 you still have the picture, eh? Oh yeah, I still I have it up, hanging up, and you know what I remember was listening to the game on the radio, and I remember the uh, the the play by play guy said, "Well, Tim Cherry out there, he says your dad got you a very special." Pete gift. Brown, I think it was. Pete Brown was his name. Pete Brown, yeah. He says got you a very special gift, and I geez, I didn't know what it was, and <laughs> yeah. then I got to tell you the truth, like back then I would have been maybe five or six yeah. well it was probably maybe six or seven and uh i didn't, yeah, we I, didn't were in the mic. I didn't know who quite who was bobby or because you never saw the games on tv no yeah and uh, i remember playing cards. honest to god now that we're talking about it i remember playing cards and um, playing cards in the back and i and I, I and i was all thrilled that i had that picture up above i mean it really was and but i couldn't believe but when the yeah that's the first time i saw bobby Orr. 